Today we're going to be taking a look at the best hitch options for your 2012 Mazda 5. Here on top we have the cart, here on the bottom we have the draw type. Let's go over some of the differences. One of the main noticeable differences is how they install. You notice that this one's got two plates. This is going to attach to the frame rails on both sides, where your draw type is going to attach to the frame rail on your passenger side, and then up on this back panel right here behind your bumper facer on the driver's side. It's also going to be held in place by the tow hook, where your curt hitch is not going to uh, have that extra hold there on the, the tow hook. Another noticeable difference, round tube, square tube. This one, your draw tight, is going to be completely hidden behind your fascia, where your curt is actually going to hang down below your fascia, so you're going to see your cross tube. Curt's going to have a reinforced collar where your draw tight's not going to. That's going to give it a little bit of extra stability and has a little bit cleaner of a look. Another noticeable difference is going to be our safety chain loops. With our curt, we're going to have a plate style. Draw tight, we're going to have rolled steel style. If you notice on the draw tight, uh, the rolled steel, you're going to have a little bit more room for different size hooks. Where with the plate style, the holes are a little bit smaller, so it may limit you on what kind of hooks you use. Another difference is Kurt's going to require the use of stabilization straps for all non-wheeled loads, where draw tight is not going to require that. Now let's go into the similarities. Both of these are going to be inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter. Both of them are going to be class one hitches, so they're only going to use class one accessories. Both of these are going to have a 200 pound max ton weight, which is the downward pressure on the inside of the receiver tube, and a 2,000 pound gross trailer weight, which is the trailer plus the load included. I always recommend checking the owner's manual of the Mazda to make sure the vehicle can withstand that amount of weight. You're going to pick the lowest number between the vehicle and the hitch. Both hitches are going to have half inch hitch pin holes and have a black powder coat finish to help resist any rust or corrosion. And both these hitches are going to work great for your bike racks and cargo carriers. As far as installation with our Curt, it's going to require one hole to be drilled in each frame rail. With our draw tight, it's only going to require one on our passenger side, which is going to make our draw tight a little bit easier to install. They're both going to come with the necessary hardware, and there's not going to be any welding required. In summary, as far as ease of installation, I'm going to have to give that to the draw tight. As far as aesthetics, I might also have to give that to the draw tight because the cross tube is completely hidden where the curt is visible. That'll do it for a look at the best hitch options for your Mazda 5.